spoken to you in a while and uh, things have happened and uh, things are happening that I wanted to kind of show you guys uh, in this vlog since we last spoke I have the shop has reopened which is pretty cool uh, it opened up on the 3rd of January and I am so happy with it I'm so so happy so um, I've got my new domain on Squarespace which is pretty pretty sick thank you so much Squarespace for always helping me out um, they're so good. Uh, this video isn't sponsored, by the way, but yeah, I'm just I just really like Squarespace, and I've got stickers on there now, and um, a bunch of new prints, and still some zines. But yeah, uh, uni's back up and and running. I've been I've been quite busy with that, um, and I was actually just editing my February poemy bullet journal poemy. And another exciting thing is that um, uh, we're almost at 50k followers on Instagram and I wanted to um, do a little draw this in your style challenge for when we, we hit that uh, milestone. So I actually did that yesterday. Yeah, I don't think I've got anything else so far to tell you right now. I, I've got uni today and stuff so I'll probably get back to you when I've got something else. <laughs> and uh, I'll talk to you guys soon. <laughs> Welcome back to this vlog. Uh, um, first of all, in case you guys are wondering, yes, I did dye my hair last night. It looks pretty cool. I missed the pink, so I went back to it. It's kind of more purpley uh, this time. I picked like a bit of a different-ish color. Looks cute. <laughs> back to my dip dyed self. And I'm currently exporting my February plan with me video which uh, I had to get done today so it can come out on Wednesday and uh, actually another thing that I wanted to talk to you guys about that I completely forgot to mention uh, yesterday was that I actually got this new tripod setup situation that I saw uh, many small has um, in her videos and she linked the video where she saw how to do it and like had the links for like the three parts and Basically, this is what it looks like. Um, it's got like this microphone stand arm that kind of compresses into this little chicken wing, I guess. And then <laughs> it basically clamps onto a desk. And then basically you just got to get this part, uh, this little uh, bolt thing, and then the arm. And so it comes in three parts and I got them off Amazon. And it's so, so useful. I literally have just it just changed my life it's so useful and I can just grab the camera and move the arm around as much as I want however I want and make it you know a top-down angle perfectly and it was the best purchase ever it was only like 17 pounds as well for all three parts so it was so affordable um, and I think it was either 17 or 27 something like that but it was quite affordable for something that is so versatile and allows you to do anything so if you guys are looking for like a really cheap good thing like tripod thing for a top-down angle this is definitely it I'll link the video down below where I saw this and got the links from I've been thinking uh, recently in the past couple of days so I don't know if you guys remember but uh, during October I had these like little sticky stickers of ghosts um, that I was giving away come on with each Inktober like order or Inktober zine order and they're very cute and I actually did them myself I've been doing them by hand 
just for myself because I think they're really cute. I've got this sticker paper and I just draw them out and then cut them out. But I was thinking of doing an actual like sticker sheet to put on the shop of these ghosties because you guys seem to love them so much and it's kind of become my branding apparently. <laughs> it just, so I, I've been thinking of doing like a little cute, you know, A6 sticker sheet um, with like about 10 different ghosts or something. I initially wanted to do them like this like a sticker packet um and do them by hand and just do like 10 per packet but then my housemates were like are you crazy that's gonna end you you so i'm just gonna finish this one for myself and then i'll i'll design like something on my ipad or something for the sticker sheet i think they'll look very cute i'm also very excited because i got some stuff off of tricky wagon's shop the other night and i'm so excited for them to arrive <laughs> oh also i need to go to the post office today because i need to get the receipts from the orders that i shipped off two days ago yeah, I need to do that today. So yeah, see you later. Hi everyone, so I just came back from town. I had a bunch of errands to run and um, of course I ended up going to Fred Aldous, my favorite art store, and spending a little bit way too much money. <laughs> uh, I thought I'd show you guys a little bit of what I bought, which is um, too much stuff. So, Fred Aldous, let's do it. Uh, uh, first of all, I bought a bunch of canvas boards, uh, different sizes because I want to do some painting and I ran out of campus board so I got a bunch just to last me a while. Some more watercolor paper because I finished mine yesterday by doing uh, this bad boy. It's probably one of my favorite paintings I've done in a long time. I'll come back to that in a bit actually. So I got some watercolor paper, got some craft brown paper for my thank you notes for my shop. And then I got some more soft lino. So then, um, yesterday I got inspired and um, decided to like try this new watercolor thing by uh, lining my thing, lining my artwork first with like ink and uh, a little nib pen. So um, unfortunately, the one that I used yesterday for this, I forgot to check before I painted it to see if it was waterproof, so I could paint it with watercolors on top. It wasn't. It was a bit messy, a bit, a lot of bleeding. But today. I wanted to go in and buy some uh, actual nibs for my for my nib pen and inking and stuff. So I got some of these because yesterday I just borrowed uh, shushas and today I just wanted to get my own. Got a new holder as well in black. And then I got some inks, uh, some actual waterproof inks this time. Good one, Piper. <laughs> so I use I got some um, Dr. Ph. Martin's um, in teal and then I got some Dr. PH Martin's in red violet and then I got some in black as well just a classic black ink yeah come on focus there you go and then lastly I got uh, some masking fluid and I know I still have a lot of masking fluid but I got some uh, it, that comes in this like little tube that, that then has like a little applicator and it comes with a bunch of different uh, applicator tips uh, and I, I see Heikala do this a lot in her watercolor paintings and it seems <laughs> to um, reduce the hassle of uh, masking fluid by a lot because I have ruined maybe like five paintbrushes trying to use masking fluid and I know I could just get those silicone uh, brushes but I feel like this would reduce a lot of the a lot of the mess Okay, so that was basically what I bought today. I know it was very little. <laughs> so now that I've actually procrastinated for two full days, it's time for me to sit down and actually get some work done. Then as a reward, I'll allow myself to do some painting. <laughs> Guys, look how exciting. I was working and then look what arrived. Ah! I'm so excited. I got these charms from uh, Tricky Wagon's shop. Look how cute they are. <laughs> So this one is of her OC Kai, I think it's Kai. And this one is a, are we Peter Parker? Look at him. <laughs> He's so cute. I'm so happy. They're beautiful, they're adorable. And her new business cards are beautiful as well, so I'm gonna put them up somewhere. I might put it next to her old business card that I've got up, so. 
And uh, yeah, I just wanted to share with you guys that I'm so excited about these. I've been wanting to get charms from her from for ages now and um, finally got some. I will all share the non prescription pay for the market, limited from 35% to 8% after the murders. Investigators also looked into every disgruntled employee who worked or had worked where the tainted Tylenol was made, stored, or sold.
everyone so uh, as you saw I've just been packaging some orders and I actually wanted to show you guys a little bit of what I've been putting up on my room walls because it's looking quite cute so obviously I put up my uh, YouTube plaque it's uh, a big price possession right now I love it very much and hello and then of course I put up the painting that I did uh, two days ago up here as well got a couple of uh, some of my favorite paintings that I've done that are also going to be probably at some point for sale on the shop, the originals. And <laughs> I wanted to show you guys this. Uh, Devin gave it to me for Christmas. It's a sexy Nick Wilde who we love a sexy queen. Of course, my Sailor Gold Moon. And I put up the drawing that I finished yesterday as well, just up there. Um, as well as some other some other artist stuff that I love. I've actually got quite a lot of uni work to do this week, um, and something really exciting is that let me just put you guys down here. My TV paint uh, arrived today. Um, for those of you who don't know, TV paint is uh, an animation software, and I got it recently because I really wanted to try it out and I had a little bit of an induction in it uh, a couple weeks ago and I fell in love with it so um, I got it and I've actually got quite a lot to do this week in terms of the shop and everything um, I'm still waiting for the reprints of stickers because um, they actually sold out and I didn't expect that to happen so I had to get some new ones and uh, they should arrive at some point this week um, so I'm gonna ship all of those off as long as, as well as all the uh, stuff that you just saw me pack and I'm also running out of business cards so I'm probably going to uh, actually re take this opportunity to redesign my business cards because uh, my other ones uh, they're like over a year old and uh, they don't have my shop on it uh, or my website on them so yeah I basically want to redesign them so I'm gonna have fun with that I mentioned it earlier but I'm going to make some like cute ghost sticker sheets for the shop as well because you guys seem to really like the little ghosties so um, I thought I could do like a little, uh, a little ghost stickers got all those things to do I didn't know how to type. This article also reported that the letter's tone was, quote, slangy and unfamiliar. By 2000s, Dr. John Horner, the author of an exhaustive account of the murder case by the Kansas City Public Library, received a doubt of state call about murder.
work here. And he pulled it to himself and kind of cradled it and started talking into it as if I wasn't even in the room. actually done all of my uni work so now it's time to play around with this I haven't used this ever so I'm really excited to try it I want to try and see what I can make with these so for anyone who doesn't know what these are they're basically like little sheets of things um, where you draw something on and then you bake it and then it shrinks and makes like little charms so I don't know let's see let's see I'm not sure what I'm gonna do yet probably gonna make some cute little ghost ones Okay, oh there's instructions, nice. Yeah, yeah, my hair is the worst today. I. All right, let's get working on these. Let's see. Rough side. Black pencil. Fine, black permanent pen. Uh... Cool, I, feel, I think I get it. I'm gonna try and make uh, one, first of all, it's gonna be like a, like a, ch a pin badge charm, and then I'm gonna try and make another one that could be like a hanging charm, like to put on my bag. So let's try these. Mm. Yeah, okay, all right. I'm just gonna put something blank underneath it, let's see. So it, it shrinks seven times smaller, so. If I want it to be, oh okay, I need a ruler for this. If I want it to be this size, I'd have to make it one, two, three, four, five. Hmm, I have to make it pretty big, huh? Let me look it up just in case. Okay, so it doesn't have to be that big. Okay, I've seen a tutorial and now I'm ready. Let's make one about this. Let's actually let's try some different ones with different sizes, eh?
now that we <gasps> wait actually let's try. <laughs> i thought i was done but i'm not i want to try doing some real small ones so i can try and make them maybe into earrings that would be cute and now i'm gonna cut these out in the oven all right all right all right i'm going to rip this on So they seem to be doing really well. I had to poke one of them because it like curved in on itself and then it wouldn't lay flat and it says in the instructions that I can only take them out once they're all laying flat. So I had to poke one of them, but I think it's fine now. Let's have a look. Oh boy, I think they're all laying flat. Oh, they're so cute. Oh boy, look how cute they look. Oh. Yeah, this one's the one that I mentioned that curled up a little bit, so now I just gotta flatten them down. <laughs> and got spatula. The ones that are gonna be cute earrings look really nice. I think the thing to learn is that I can definitely make the borders a little bit um, thinner, and they'll be fine. And I think I now need to like pressure them so they can only flat. Take these upstairs. Logically, some positive these theories could have allowed the boy to rationalize Bruce Anderson's death and allowed a narrative as Bobby Duffy stole the boy. No one stole anything. They, they stole the boy. They thought it was their boy. They thought they said he had small eyes. That was one newspaper. Ooh, there he is. Look at my boy. All right next to my tricky wagon, Spider-Man charm, I got my little boy right here. I I might have to buy like some little pin uh, backs for the rest of these because I want to make the rest, like at least these three into pins and then maybe, I don't know what I'm going to do with these, but maybe have these like try and make them as like some dangling earrings somehow or trying to make some that actually work as some earrings because I forgot to put holes in these. <laughs>
one. Today is uh, inventory day, so uh, I've been avoiding doing this for a while now. But yeah, I got a bunch of new prints arriving tomorrow that I'm adding onto the shop in March, so basically next week. So I have to do inventory of all the stuff that I still have. The Inktober zines uh, are sold out and I'm probably not gonna reprint them until this year's Inktober probably or something. So those are gone. Uh, thank you for everyone who got a copy, thank you. <laughs> uh, so yeah, it's time for inventory. <laughs> Today is very exciting because I actually just <laughs> just stabbed myself in the eye. Um, they're very exciting packages that arrived while I was at uni. Um, I okay, I'll start with this first. So I got this um, Huion tablet to review for you guys, which is really exciting because um, it's just not a graphic display tablet. It's just an actual tablet, um, and it's a, a wireless tablet as well, which is really cool because I've never had a wireless tablet. So I'm excited to try this out. Um, for you guys. Uh, and also I got a package from printer.com, which is great. Um, I was kind of, you know, on the fence about getting stuff from them again because the, I've heard a lot of things that their quality has kind of gone down a little bit. So um, yeah, I just got uh, an order for all of my prints that I'm gonna add up on the shop in March next week. So very exciting. I'll give you guys a little show. <laughs> Got some very exciting new prints. Got this one. It's very, one of my favorite things that I've done in a long time. I've got A4 and A5 versions of this. I've got some cute little sketch 
prints as well, like this and this. So those are exciting. And some other goodies, but you'll have to go to the shop to see the rest of them. <laughs> so yeah, I'm planning on having quite a chill night today. I'm just gonna work uh, on minor things and chill out. But yeah, I just wanted to let you guys that this is happening. Okay, I was gonna go and then I was just taking my prints out of the box and I realized the weirdest thing. I'm gonna try and get this on camera. But so the first print of these A4 ones, you can actually probably even see it just like this. There's like writing on them and I can actually read exactly what it says. It looks like it was printed on top of something else, if that makes any sense. It, it literally just says, uh, smoke-free Blackpool if you're ready to go go it alone uh, and we'll direct you to like it literally looks like it was a flyer printed on this and then they just printed on top of it my design that's literally the most annoying thing it's got a whole look at that look at the circle here it, it, it's it, it's eligible writing as well it's what printed what <laughs> It's got links and stuff on it, like I can't use this print, you know what I mean? Like it's so annoying. And like some of the prints come like roughed up on the edges, like this one. You know what I mean? Like it's not stuff that I find sellable. It's just so odd. It's odd. I I was on their side for a short second there and then I saw this, so great. It's quite a shame because I really like printed and they have good quality they used to have good quality when I start using uh, using um, them for my printings and stuff but um yeah hello everyone um so today is uh, monday and i've got a very very busy day ahead of me i've got post office uh, i've got to work on some stuff for a pop-up shop for that i'm doing with my uni Ugh, i've got to go into uni and frankly this month is going to be a big old mess because i've got deadlines coming up i've got a lot of work to do so um i'm also finishing the vlog here because as I said, I'm very, very busy <laughs> and I've been very tired recently just getting on with uni work. So yeah, just uh, here to let you guys know that I've been sending off all packages and stuff and I normally send, I get a lot of questions about this so I thought I'd answer it here. I normally go to the post office and send off packages every two weeks. It says it on my uh, website, on my shop, in the frequently asked questions section. So just in case you didn't know, don't freak out if it's been a week and I still haven't sent off your package. It's just that I try to go every two weeks so I don't actually live at the post office. It would be great. And yeah, so then I'm going to the gym afterwards after I finish doing all of my things. Yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching this vlog. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll try to come back with some more vlogs maybe in May. Um, I'm probably not going to be able to film anything else in March so hopefully in April. Some exciting things are coming so. Thank you guys so much, I love you very much, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye.